go. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Amir Ranja. As you already know that I have already committed in my uh, previous video that I will be doing a video on uh, how to dispatch a box truck, uh, especially the 26 fitter box truck. So as you know, I have already committed with you guys that I will be doing my videos in English from now onwards because if a person is going to jump in this specific business for the truck dispatching, he must have to have a good communication skills in English. So that's why uh, to all the Asian subscribers or the followers who are uh, following my channel that I really do apologize at the very first moment because, uh, you know, uh, it's not possible if you are not in uh, if you are not good in english you won't be able to um, doing this business uh, successfully because the basic need for us as an asian to do the truck dispatching is that we have to have a good communication skills in english because we are the center point for the brokers for the shippers and for the carriers so that's why we are the communication bridge in between all of them. So, you know, uh, we have to, uh, you, you can say, improvise our skill set on that part. Even if we go for the technical part uh, to book a load or to deal with the broker, to deal with the carrier, you know, it's an essential thing. So at the very first moment, uh, from now onward, I will be continuing my videos in English. And the second uh, thing for the uh, today's title of this video is uh, that how to book a load for a box truck. So as a dispatcher, uh, I don't offer my services to the 15 feet box truck and to the 18 feet box truck and to the 24 feet box truck. I only deal uh, with the box truck which are uh, longer than 26 feet, uh, maybe it will be like 28 feet or maybe 30 or 32 feet and most of people don't know that uh, these kind of box trucks do already exist in the market but nobody knows uh, because may, maybe they don't have any encounter uh, for such type of trucks but I do have some encounter with 28 fitters. For the box truck, as a dispatcher, uh, what I'm looking for a box truck, it's supposed to be a 26 feet. That's the first thing. The second thing, it must have a lift gate. If a box truck comes to me and he asks me for my services, I won't be entertaining him if he do not have a lift gate. And the third thing, uh, which is the E-tracks in the back of the truck, like it's inside uh, of uh, the cabin, where we put the uh, our freight so there must be even they are vertical or they are horizontal uh, it should have been equipped with the e-tracks whatever they would be like vertical or horizontal it doesn't matter and he must have some blankets with him and he must have some straps with him and that's enough if your guy if somebody comes to you and he have a box truck and he have a lift gate and he have a e tracks with straps and blankets then i assure you you guys will be like rocking already it's pretty much easy to book this kind of box truck for two dollar per mile or higher than two dollar per mile as of my experience what i am doing right now i am uh, booking my box trucks for more than two dollar a mile okay even in this kind of market when people are saying like nobody gonna give you 1.6 1.7 dollar a mile but still i assure you i can get you loads for higher than two dollar a mile so uh, what's the basic problem uh, our guys like the dispatching guys are facing at the moment they don't really know uh, like what the equipment actually um, look like and uh, what's the weight capac capacity for that uh, specific uh, truck so that's why they are lacking on uh, the basic information that's why they are not able to book good loads for this kind of equipment 
you know if you have a box truck and it's 26 feet then definitely the broker will going to pay the basic load rate for 1.7 dollar a mile but you guys don't know the broker have to pay for the lift gate some extra bucks okay and then he have to pay some extra bucks for the e-trucks you know every uh, you can say the accessory with a truck it comes with an extra charge so while including all of this stuff we will be able to book a box truck for more than two dollar a mile so another thing i want to add up here is that uh, a lot of people who are into the dispatching uh, some are from uh, asia some are from uh, you can say africa some are from even from the states they are uh, offering their services like dispatching services but they don't really have any idea about the equipment how it look like what's the capacity what's uh, the basic uh, uh, requirements you have to complete before uh, doing a dispatch so that's why they are lacking on that part so as i have already told you the three um, basic things like it should be a 26 feet it should be uh, having a lift gate it should be having a e tracks and the uh, last but not the least the truck should be dock high okay so many of the times broker will ask you that is your truck is dock high because it's easy to uh, load in or uh, get out the load from uh, the truck easily so that's why they require this um, dock height and also if your box truck is having a air suspension then you are already there you can even uh, book a load for 2.4 dollars a mile because people don't know exactly about the equipment so they don't know what exactly they're gonna ask the broker uh, what will be the actual cost for that truck okay on air ride you you uh, guys will uh, definitely know you can ha handle some fragile freight on uh, air ride suspensions so it definitely comes with some extra cost so we have to ask some extra bucks from the broker and the, on the other part, uh, for a lot of dispatcher and the carriers who are new into the box truck, they don't really know uh, like where to go to book the load for the box truck and the sprinter vans. It actually uh, comes up on the load boards uh, for the initial stages. You have to go for a load board. Even some dispatcher are working, they are working on load boards. They are working with uh, the sport rate and uh, multiple brokers on the daily basis so uh, there is a very huge confusion a lot of people think that if they have access to a load board they will be booking loads for their carriers but that's not true the point is if you have a good connection with uh, you can say even 30 to 35 good brokers then I can assure you, you don't need the load board anymore. Because I have some personal references with some brokers. And if a, a broker have a, a lane uh, picking up from Muskego, Oklahoma, going to California, and he's already paying $2 a mile on that load. So he first prefer to send this load to their uh, you can say the premium customer or the customer they uh, already have in their system. So they shoot the email to all of their, uh, uh, you know, connections which are already in their system. So technically, whenever a good load comes up, it already been covered in that email chain. So this kind of load doesn't come up on the load boards. So that's why uh, always try to build a connection with uh, the brokers and the shippers to get a good load. Uh, right now, if I, uh, I will uh, give you my example, I am getting um, like plenty of emails on the daily basis for the box trucks and they are paying $2 a mile today. Even I, uh, 
I cannot show you at the moment, but I will uh, post a short video in which I will be show, showing you that this broker is paying me two dollar a mile for a box truck. In, even if in this type of market in which people are saying, no, 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 man, you won't be able to uh, get a 1.5 on a box truck, but still I can show you with the proof that you, you can be um, booking a box truck for more than two dollar a mile. So it always depends on your connection. So try to go ahead and build some connections. Uh, make your co uh, connection game strong and you are halfway there. You, you will be uh, booking a lot of good loads with the good paying rates. So uh, if you guys are thinking that I am not showing you how to, uh, you can say, uh, put the filters on the load board and fetch out the data for the loads and then calling the brokers. But here is one more thing I want to add up here uh, that uh, you can say a lot of uh, dispatcher uh, which I am dealing on the daily basis, they are doing um, a very, uh, you can say, a critical mistake. If a broker posted a load for 1000 miles, okay and the deadhead will be like 50 miles so technically the load uh, completely covers 1050 miles if you want to book that load for two dollar a mile but the broker already posted 1500 then you you guys don't have these balls to call the broker and ask him that i want 2400 dollars on this one because you already make up your mind like this guy is posted $1,500 on the load board. So he won't be having a, a margin for $300 or $400. Maybe he will be paying you $1,900, but it won't be making $2 a mile. But man, you have to think about it. You are working with a carrier. He have expenses. He have installment. He have his insurance. He have toll taxes, he have maintenance to pay, he have a driver to pay, he have to pay for the fuel. Even if you book that load for like 1800, he will be like barely um, uh, coming to his break even. So how can you uh, think that he will be making profit in this sort of uh, like booking loads on this sort of rates, he won't be staying in the business for not more than two months. You can make your uh, profits, like you can make your commissions on, even if he is going for $1.2 a mile, you guys are making your commissions, but you are not thinking about that specific carrier who is losing the game already. And you guys are responsible for that because you don't care about the carrier, you just care about you. So please try to understand, if he grows and his company stays longer in the game, like if a carrier comes to you and he stays with you two, for the two months and you have uh, like earned uh, almost, even uh, if we take an example, you earn thousand dollars from that guy. Um, after that, he just uh, ran out of the business due to the unforeseen circumstances or uh, I won't be able to say that, but for uh, somebody's mistake, you better know. So he won't be uh, running the business anymore. So how can you earn the money? If you are doing a quality work and you are giving him a good load, then definitely he will be staying in the game as long as you want. And he will be sticking with you. And if he stays in the business for two years, you better know if you have earned 500 on monthly basis, you are uh, making almost, um, 6,000 in a year for one truck. It's a bit, uh, just an example. Uh, you better know the number game. Uh, so you can making almost around uh, 1500 to $1,600 with a box truck on monthly basis. So try to focus on the quality. Try to focus on your connections. Try to focus on that guy who is believing you that you are the one who will be getting him the good rates from the shippers and the brokers. But if you are losing it already and you will be looking for another carrier uh, in the uh, respective month, which will be like the third month, you will be calling another carrier. Hey man, I will be giving you the dispatching service. And he will think, oh man, just 
hang up the call i'm not interested why he would be interested in you when you don't have your number game strong and you don't have your connection strong already so uh, try to focus on the quality try to focus on your guys who are trusting you and working with you guys believing you that you are their um, you can say the saving angels who will be working uh, on their behalf so try to understand they have a family to feed they have expenses to meet they have a lot more other challenges in their life so if somebody is trusting you don't um, break the trust uh, just focus on your work and uh, uh, i can say if you focus even for one one complete month on your connections i assure you you guys will be also booking loads for the box truck for more than two dollar a mile and uh, there is one more thing i want to add up here uh, which is like for the sprinter van it's pretty much tough for me as well it's also i can say a little bit tough task to dispatch a sprinter van but still i do have a guy here who is uh, dispatching sprinter vans very successfully and he is making with two sprinter vans for almost around fourteen hundred dollars per month so it's a very good number if you think technically but you guys won't be able to jumping into that uh, kind of equipment because you guys are not working really hard you are not grinding you are not hustling you are just looking on your commission like you guys always try to um, convince the carrier that hey man this is the only load available and you guys don't try to negotiate with the broker you guys always try to negotiate with the carrier that please take this load uh, this and that like you, you you better know the stories and the stuff so as of the moment uh, for those who are in uh, box truck uh, business or in the box truck dispatching business both of you guys my advice is to focus on your connection that's the first thing and the second thing focus on your local area first like you have to have one or two broker in your connection who is from your like region if you are operating from atlanta georgia you must have two connections in atlanta georgia which will be um, always in touch with you that whenever you are uh, like hauling back to your house then you have something to go out and uh, do the stuff and do your uh, schedule your whole uh, trip so if you guys have any question any argument any challenge on that part i'm open for any kind of challenge you can challenge me i can show you with the proofs and uh, stay blessed stay tuned keep grinding keep hustling thank you so very much for watching this video uh, subscribe my channel and uh, do share the video and drop a comment if you like it thank you so very much